Hello and welcome. I'm Richard Wheeler, president and founder of American Bath Factory. I'm here in the California factory showing you our factory today. Um, we've been building our bathtub since 1984. We've been doing it the longest and we built the best, so we'll show you the quality we put into every product. This is our quality control and inspection area where every tub is inspected, polished, and detailed before it's wrapped and sent to you. Um, and I'm going to show you the bathtub factory right now, but this is where the final stage is where it comes out and is detailed. What, what makes our tubs different is the foundation of our product, which is an acrylic and an ABS um, composite. The difference between it is we really put a lot of attention into the detail is the color. To get a true rich porcelain look, it has a little bit of grayish blue tones. It's not just this stark white ugly plastic. And ours is a lot thicker, and I'll show you in the vacuum form process, but 35 years ago, um, you know, I, I did this in my garage. I built my own vacuum form machine, and I made my machine so sweet that I can vacuum form so many plastics, and the way I vacuum form my tubs, it takes the stress out of the plastic, so I don't have cracking and crazing like everyone else. But we have our own special grade of plastic that we use. Um, it's really the strongest plastic in the world. after we vacuum form it, but it is an extremely strong tub. Um, we actually use, in some of our tubs, we use three of these sheets per tub. Most of them use two sheets, an inside and outside sheet, and I'll show you that whole process next. Again, we've been doing it for so long. Uh, we build all our own molds, we build all our own vacuum form machines, so we know nobody can compete. We'd rather put our money into the product that you have to live with than to spend a bunch of money on other stuff, but because it's all paid for as far as our material costs, nobody can compete with it. But it starts with a high-end epoxy mold and a vacuum form. And this is, again, this is our vacuum form machine. Um, I built this in my garage 35 years ago and we built a couple more, but, but this is, it's, it's really basic. Um, it took a lot to tweak, um, but it's, it's, now everybody's doing it. But it was innovative back then when I started it. Um, and it still builds the strongest and the best tub there is. Um, and again, it starts with the substrate. But here you can you can come in here and I'll show you. You know, we heat up the plastic to 450 degrees. We turn on a big vacuum and we'll show you it vacuuming down. So here we are about to vacuum form the tub. Again, our plastic is a lot thicker than other people's, um, but it's a slow heat. Other people might take three minutes to heat up a tub. We'll take 20 minutes to heat up a sheet of plastic, so there's no stress built into that. Um, and then we will we'll turn on our vacuum pump so you hear the noise. We'll raise it up. Now this is going to vacuum it into the shade. This is what this is the, the process. You can move in closer and see so what it is. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. So again, we're the only ones to keep it running when it's in the oven until it's fully pulled down. Right. So there's a vacuum form shell. Again, you'll notice the gloss on there. It has a protective film on it right now. Okay, so this again, it went up from 450 degrees. It's going back down to room temperature. But what makes the difference, I'll show you in the other one, our normal bathtub, there's two of these shells we're going to put together. So again, this is really strong, but it's still hot, so it's not as it's more flexible. So it's not going to break because it's more flexible right now. But let me show you over here again. Tub, and we do two of these shells, which I'll show you just right now. I'll take you over and show you the two massive shells that we're going to put together over in the other department. So there's an A and a B, and we put it over there and we laminate these two shells together. I'm here in the laminating section. Um, again, we have an A shell and a B shell. Um, you saw us vacuum form it. Well, the A shell is what you live with, the B shell is a decorative outside shell. And inside that, we put a quartz and a resin resin that we put over it to bond these two shells together. Um, and you put a metal bracket where you can bolt your feet in or where you put your pedestal um, attachment to. And so um, we have a proprietary resin formula over there. Um, I really don't want to show you the mix on the video so my competition doesn't know what I'm doing, but um, I'll show you the secret, the secret sauce over here. The secret sauce is this heavy quartz material that we mix with our resin 
This is one of the heaviest materials you ever find. So we put this into the material, and that's why our tubs are heavier, more solid, more dense than other manufacturers, than a lightweight filler. So that's, that's what we do in the laminating section, and we put them together. So over here in the assembly area, after we laminate the tubs together, then we're going to either put a base on it, put the feet on it, um, or over here we water test our whirlpools. So this is our Caspian, which is the first whirlpool cloth foot tub in the world. Um, it's got a seven jet high flow water system on it. Um, over here's the pump. So, um, so we, we do a full test before it goes into production. So before we put the second shell on it, we do a full water test again and let it run for four hours to, to, to test it out. Again, this is the first whirlpool cloth foot tub in the world. Our pedestal tub, again, we have the metal bolting system inside. So we just anchor it to the system and, and deep before it gets polished and detailed. As far as our claw foot tubs, you know, we, we cast our own feet. So we, we make a variety of different feet. And then here's where we do the final fitting and, and the bolts and assemble the feet onto the tub. Um, that's that's our, our foot assembly. You might get a special um, iron basket that we make the iron baskets. And they set in for more of a decorative um, Spanish look. Um, that's that's what that system is. While we're here in the detail section, I want to show you the different feed options. Um, 30 years ago, uh, I and one of our co-workers carved out this foot and made this design. You see a lot of people copying it, but the original, it's all ours. We designed it um, 30 years ago. The difference is it has a solid foot. So any angle you look at it, you're going to see solid. It's just more of a substantial product. And you'll see out there, although it's a solid cast foot that we make ourselves. Um, and again, in the different finishes, you have white, satin, nickel, old world bronze, um, which has an aged tatina to it, and your standard chrome. Again, it's a high polish, high shine, um, solid um, plating process from us. Um, solid metal foot. Um, you have other, we make a, a little more economy one, which is a lower profile of this as well. Um, and then, we have what we call our Imperial Claw, um, which is another budget line that we, we came up with. They all have adjustable bottoms, so you can fully adjust the foot. And then we even have a, um, a paw foot. Um, we have a bunch of, over 30 years, we made a bunch of different feet that, that you know we do, and we do custom orders on those. So, so those are our foot choices. But again, it's a solid foot, um, heavy, heavy duty foot um, that, that we manufacture here at the American Bath Factory, just to show you some of those differences. The attention to detail is very important to us here at American Bass Factory. You'll really order a color sample because you'll really see the difference in, our, in the color of our tub. You cannot discern the difference between our tub and a porcelain tub. It has that beautiful, the correct colors, the correct balance of coloring that make it look just like a high shine porcelain. The advantage of acrylic, again, it's not going to chip like your porcelain. It's going to be warm to the touch, unlike porcelain. When you get in, it's not going to be cold. It's not going to be very, very heavy for the top insulation. It's not like a cheap fiberglass tub. Our Acrostone tubs are a lot more durable, solid filling, more heavy than a traditional cheap fiberglass tub coming from China. But our tubs here, they're denser, they're more solid, but they're not as heavy as a cast iron, and they're more manageable and better. To, it's a better tub for your family and, and long life. Um, so that's what we do. The other attention to detail is our angles, our slopes. Uh, what we call our French style, it's more of a sloping, it's more of an elegant look than what you'll see in the Chinese product. They're just straight lined, ugly, non-lumbar non support. A lot of those details that we developed 30 years ago to put into the tub, coming from the um, jacuzzi business, um, we incorporate those into our tubs and the design. Again, the style and the design is very important and you can see the difference between an American-made product and an overseas product just in the, the attention to detail of the feet and everything else. And, and so we're gonna get the last stage of the polishing step to just make sure any of those last um, details are taken care of. We polish it out, then we bubble wrap, and we ship it out to you. And, and again, we're here at the factory, we make it all, and it comes right from California to you. Once it gets a final inspection, then they can put our name on it because if it if it doesn't meet our quality control, it doesn't get its name. 
Hello, I'm here in our faucet section. Um, most of our tubs ship out with a faucet package with it. Um, this is our standard, what we call our 900 faucet, which is a ceramic cartridge, um, solid brass construction. We're the first one to introduce ceramic cartridges to the vintage product line. Um, and and our, again, our look and attention to detail and quality is there. Um, we do it this way, so we make sure everything's packaged. They check off the order, and they make sure it all goes in one box. We take a photo of it, so we know there's nothing missing in, in our package of our faucets. Um, I do have a, a factory for doing the high polishing and the plating in Mexico, so, so again, um, we, we do the finish work in Mexico, and then we inventory it here as the orders come in. We package it and ship it right off to you. So that's, that's just what we do here.